Good evening, delegates, and welcome back to the Blue Ridge Journal. I'm Claire Ranney from Pure, Michigan. And I'm Madeline Canada from Maryland. Congratulations to all of you on completing Committee B today. First, we're going to head over to Andre and Claire for the weather. Um, first, can I borrow an umbrella, please? Uh, sure. Thanks. Thanks so much, guys. Tomorrow, there's going to be a high of 82 and a low of 64. And don't forget, there's a high chance of rain. <laughs> um, it'll be cloudy, but the UV will be 6. So, again, sunscreen. Right. And also, don't forget that tomorrow is the National Day of Independence, the 4th of July. I know Michigan delegation will be hiding from those harsh UV rays in their sequined America starred light up cowboy hats. Thanks so much. Back to you. Thank you, Claire and Andre. I'll make sure to have my umbrella with me tomorrow. And now over to Meta and Zoe to hear about new delegates' first day Kona impressions. We all know that the first few days of Kona are overwhelming and exciting. Here are some thoughts from some first time delegates. Really cool pins. It was definitely fun and studious. I would say it was definitely intellectually stimulating and validating because everybody called me smart and pretty. Fantastic. I'm so glad so many delegates had a great first day. Me too. Kona is such an incredible experience and I'm so glad so many new people get to be a part of it this year. Now we'll head over to Sophie to hear some advice from returning delegates. Hi, my name is Sophie Wang and I'm from the Model United Nations and today we'll be interviewing some returning delegates on their advice for new delegates and like one of our Kona PO said, Kona is built on the legacy of the year before so let's embrace that legacy and hear from our returners. My name is Ava and some advice that I would have for newcomers on the mountain is to take advantage of that time between committee and meals to take a much needed power nap. You need to prioritize your health when you're going back and forth all day and hiking up and down the mountain. So catch some much needed Z's. Hi delegates, my name is Pat Lanza. I'm from the Ma UN delegation. And my one piece of advice is to take it all in. You never know when your final day on the Blue Ridge Mountains is gonna be or if you'll ever come back again. So take it all in. Have as much fun as you possibly can and spend as much time with your friends that you've made here. Have a wonderful day. Hi, I'm Laurie and um, some advice that I would give to a, like a first year delegate would probably be to wear comfortable shoes on the mountain because it can get so difficult wearing like high heels or like even just flats on the mountain because it's so steep and you could fall. Hello everyone, um, my name is Michaela Scott. My biggest advice for new delegates is to take advantage of Kona and really everything this conference has to offer. Um, this, is not an, this is not only an opportunity for you to share your own um, beliefs and opinions, but to really learn from others and hear viewpoints that differ from your own. Uh, I think communication is really the first step to change. I ask everyone to take the time to find what this conference means to you and to remind all delegates that you are all here for a reason, so embrace the Blue Ridge spirit. Thank you to our returning delegates, and let's turn it back to our hosts. Thank you so much to Sophie and all the delegates who gave advice. Now on a more serious note, recently the Supreme Court has ruled to overturn affirmative action. Let's go to some of our media delegates to hear more. I'm Kaylee Reinbach from the Pennsylvania delegation, and I'm Kaylin Van Duzer from Washington State. While on the mountain, we often get lost in the fun and debate, but we can't forget about what's happening around us in the real world. We hear a lot about Supreme Court cases, and for the most part, it's not a major concern, but this case is. Many of us plan to attend college, or have at least considered it, and this court case ending affirmative action affects us all. Now let's hear about what some of the delegates think about this case. How will ending affirmative action affect future college admissions? Yeah, so from what I've read, colleges are still going to want to build a diverse class regardless of any Supreme Court decision. And this is just going to force admissions officers to try and deduce the race of an applicant based on what they write in their college essay. And that's just going to further stereotype and trivialize minorities. Do you think that admissions based on intellectual mobility and skills will affect the amount of diversity on college campuses? I think it definitely will because there are a lot of, um, once again, minority communities and low-income communities that don't have access to resources that help them prepare for these standardized tests that prove intellectual um, ability, such as the SATs or the ACTs. Um, it's very expensive not only to just take the test, but even prepare for it um, and to find resources to help you study. Um, so I definitely think it will affect them. 
And how do you think that this will personally affect you? I think that it will definitely disadvantage me. I mean, me and other members of my family stood to gain from affirmative action because we do come from underprivileged backgrounds um, on principle of being black people. And so it'll definitely disadvantage me, but I can't honestly say that I'm out and out against the decision. Thank you so much to all the amazing delegates we heard from. Getting your voice out there really matters. Again, this segment was on a topic that could impact you and future generations. So let your voice be heard and continue to make change. We'll see you on the mountain. It's always great to hear about delegates' opinions on national events. Guess what my friend Michael told me today? What? That he played a state's trivia game. No way, so did my friend Abby. Well, let's see how that turned out. Hey everyone, it's Melina and Isla from New York. York. And today we're going to be asking some delegates state trivia questions. Hope you enjoy. We are with the Pennsylvania delegation. Let's hear your guys' names. Melissa R. Curie. Sarah Messimer. Gabby Green, former Stack the States champion. Riley Stoddard, former Haikyuu champion. <laughs> I'm Brad Tibbs. I'm Drew Hearn. Me, your best guess. This is a picture of a state flag. Uh, Michigan. That's right. Who are we here with? Charlie Manning from Kentucky. I have a question for you. you know the capital of Idaho? Boise. Correct. Who are we here with? Joey, I'm from Texas. Do you know what this state flag is? Give me a second. Let me take let me take a closer look at this. Is this a trick? No tricks. It's on the northeast. Just I'm blanking. It's very close to New York. Is this Massachusetts? No. What? This is Jersey, right? Yeah. New Jersey. Sorry. He got it, folks. Thank you. A head-to-head -head quiz battle, South Carolina versus D.C. My name's Ellen from Washington, D.C. My name's Kayla from Washington, D.C. Mateo, I'm from D.C. Thomas Willis from the legendary state of South Carolina. Lisa <laughs> from the great state of South Carolina. Which state has the nickname the Yellowhammer State? It's a southern state. I was Alabama. right. Oh my god, Alabama. Another 2v2 head-to-head -head state battle, we have Maryland versus Michigan. Abigail Chan from the Maryland delegation. I'm Irene Chung from the Maryland delegation. It's Michael Kenny and I'm from Michigan. Sydney Fraley from Michigan. What is the capital of Washington? Siri, what's it? Starts with an O. Can I have the second letter? L. Oh um, Lord, I don't know this. <laughs> Can we get a new question? Back for round two with the Michigan Maryland squad. What is this state flag? Um, Minnesota. Yes. Correct. Back with another group of delegates. Introduce yourself, guys. My name is Emma. I'm from New York. Uh, Cohen, New York. I'm Aaron from New York. My name's Jason from New York. Our fellow New York delegates won't embarrass us. What state is nicknamed the Show Me State? Missouri. That's correct. Who are we here with? Hi, my name is Jan from Tennessee. It's the capital of Wisconsin. I didn't know another guess. I don't know it. Can you tell me? Madison. You know that, dude. I'm Nathan. Laurel. Ariana. Jade. Sophie Douglas. Oh my very nature-y. Good job, Delaware. Thanks for playing with us. We hope everyone learned more about the states here at Kona. Back to you, Claire and Madeline. What a great day to be from Pure Michigan. Tough day to be a crab. Hey, cool pin. Oh, thank you. Make sure to throw that wrapper away though. Oh yeah, sure. Crisis averted. Stop. You can't do that. Littering is bad. It's not that big a deal. Plastic literally comes from the earth. Not really. Plastic bags like this can cause serious harm to innocent squirrels. It's hard for animals like squirrels to differentiate food and plastic, so they fill up. But they get no nutrients, causing them to get weak and have no energy. I never knew! <laughs> Seriously, we're all really lucky to be here at Kona in this beautiful area, so it's really imperative that we show respect to nature. Yeah, don't just pick up your own trash, but pick up other people's too. Any that you can find. Don't litter. Yeah! Period! My bad. Well, I'm glad Andre and I were able to change your mind. Me too. Thank you so much for tuning in to our Monday night broadcast. And don't forget to follow our socials, BRJ Kona, BRJ underscore Kona for our TikTok, and our voices amplified on Spotify. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>